Hey, how's it going guys? Today I have this All Day Mall A88T Pro tablet. I made a video on this not too long ago, and I'm about to return this tablet. Uh, the reason being is not because it's uh, it's too slow or anything. This actually runs decently. For It has a 1920 by 1200 display, and I was able to play Monster or Jetpack Joyride pretty well, and it ran pretty smoothly uh, compared to another tablet that I used that's that has a 1920 by 1200 resolution and same specs and all that. Uh, but the biggest issue with this is the back here. Now the back gets really hot after 15-20 minutes. If you, ha I had the brightness set to medium or 30% to 50%, you know, I switched it around a bit and it just got extremely hot. Like the board down here, the table is still warm from this. So I just placed it down there for like a few, a minute or two. And uh, yeah, it's just horrible. Like this is a huge safety hazard. Like it's just one side that gets warm. This side is okay. This side around here gets extremely hot. I think the battery might be here or something, but the heat sink just sucks on this. Yeah, so based on that alone, you know, it's a safety issue. Definitely not recommending it to a kid. Uh, if you turn it off for a few minutes, it cools down fairly quickly. And uh, let me clarify that all the tablets that I've tested, you know, under $100, they do get warm in the back on one side, like, but it's not as hot as this gets. Uh, so because that's a big concern and that's the only reason I can't recommend this tablet, but I mean, you can still get it if you want to. I mean, it is a good price. It is a good resolution, but uh, yeah. And if the safety thing isn't a big concern for you, uh, then yeah, you know, I mean, why wouldn't safety be an issue? I'm just thinking for a second, what am I saying? But yeah, I mean, for some people, they can handle that or they don't think it's a big deal. But nonetheless, you know, better safe than sorry, right? So the other option is the Onda V80 tablet. Now this tablet, it does have the same resolution. It's eight inches. It's 1920 by 1200 still. It has an A64 chip and a Mali 400 MP GPU. But surprisingly, it's it's weird that this runs slower. It lags more and stuff. And you can tell just from that, if I try to open up YouTube, it's just, it's just slow. Maybe the speaker's probably slightly better because it's on the side, but it's still very tinny and doesn't get too loud. The camera sucks on here. And yeah, but you know, for playing 1080p vid videos in 1080p, if I show my one of my videos, just so I don't want to get copyrighted. I, it plays videos in 1080p. Again, it's really slower, but if it's solely for media consumption, then this is the tab tablet to go to. And if you think this safety thing, or if you don't think it's hot enough, or if you think it's not really a big deal, then yeah, you can go with this. By all means, I'm not stopping you, but keep this away from a kid, by all means. But yeah, this one, it gets, it gets warm in the back, but it doesn't get too hot. And I can, I can go ahead and change the resolution. It's at 720p. I can change it to 1080p. And uh, this isn't the best video to test this out on, but it shows you that it does get 1920 by 1080. So yeah, you know, that, like I said, purely for media consumption, nothing else. This would be a decent choice. You can pop in a micro SD card. I'll have a video down below. Uh, and yeah, I hope this video helps you out. You know, stay away from this for because it's a safety issue. I tried co contacting the All Day Mall, and they said, you know, that's pretty normal. But I'm like, how's this normal? You know, I don't understand it. But it is what it is. Um, they probably just want to make money. So that's the basic gist of it. You know, it's a company that just wants to make money. That's how I see it. It's pretty disappointing. Uh, but yeah, you know, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I hope this video helps you guys out in making the decision, and I'll see you in the next one.